All right, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we are talking again about uh, the Sig Sauer P365 AXG Legion. So, uh, I know I posted that video a couple days ago of my experiences with it, but since I posted that video, I have gone back to the range. I got my buddy and we shot over 600 rounds through this weapon. Uh, so the total round count on this gun now is uh, past 1100 and I just want to give a more comprehensive review now and talk about basically how the gun is holding up at this point and uh, where I stand on the issues that I previously talked about it because I did have issues with it at about the 600 round mark regarding its performance and my performance using it. So I just want to give an update on that and let's dive into it. So a couple people, I guess, got offended that I was being critical of this weapon. Uh, you know, some people thought that I was just bashing on, on this pistol for no reason or that I was, uh, you know, just being overly critical of it. And, you know, I'm being honest, right? I only have my experiences to go off of. And if I find something that I don't like about the gun or I find something that uh, is related to my performance or my performance is inferior when using this gun, then I'm going to talk about that. Whether that has something to do with the gun or with me is uh, something I have to determine, but I feel I've done the best I can to determine actually whether or not it's a problem with the gun or with me. and. With that being said, let's talk about some of the uh, experiences that I have had in shooting this gun yesterday. So yesterday I went back to the range again with my buddy and we shot about 600 more rounds through this gun. We had about 12 boxes of ammo with us and we shot uh, Fioki 115 grain 9mm through this weapon and the performance of this weapon was absolutely flawless. I lubed this gun up prior to actually taking it out. I made sure that all of the uh, parts that were experiencing wear were fully lubricated. I lubricated the slide, uh, got some lube on the FCU where the uh, slide met the rails on the FCU, and just ensured that this gun was going to run smoothly for an extended training session. And it absolutely did. I passed uh, the 1000 round mark through this gun with absolutely zero malfunctions. So I can say without a shadow of the without a shadow of a doubt that this weapon is for sure reliable. In addition to the 1000 or 1000 ish rounds of uh, Fioki 9mm that we ran through it, FMJ, I also ran some uh, 124 grain Winchester plus P hollow points through this weapon as well. And they chambered just fine. They cycled just fine. So no issues there. But real quick, uh, as far as the gun's tightness goes, so I mentioned that this gun was having issues with um, chambering rounds when the slide was forward in the last video. Uh, I will show right now that this gun has loosened up. And as you can hear, if I put this gun up to the camera, you guys hear that shaking? This gun has loosened up so much that the slide and the FCU are like shaking and wobbling inside the actual frame. So I'll just demonstrate that. If I wobble the slide, you'll see that there is like a noticeable, there's a noticeable amount of play between the slide and the frame and the FCU. And I believe that that is just a consequence of having shot the gun to this point so far. And it's not necessarily a bad thing. It's not affecting reliability. In fact, I kind of hope, I kind of hope this would happen because it means that uh, the tolerances on the gun are getting looser. It's going to uh, possibly run a little bit more reliably, and it won't be as hard to chamber around. But okay. So now I'm going to do it with the XG Legion. Insert the mag. Mag's in the gun. No round in the chamber. Let's chamber around. There we go. Now there's a round chambered in the gun. Uh, I have some live rounds here again, and uh, we will see if the issues with chambering rounds 
have been fixed or remedied. So same mag as before and let's chamber around. Way easier than, than it was the last time to chamber around. Uh, as you guys probably remember from the last video, if you watched the last video, it was nearly impossible to rack the slide on this and get around into the chamber. But that issue for me has been resolved. Uh, this mag was fully loaded and I inserted it in. And as you guys just saw, I chambered around without too much effort. That's definitely what I was hoping would happen. So that is uh, in a big issue resolved. Thank God. <laughs> This gun just needed to be broken in a little bit more in order to fix that issue with the tension. And honestly, I don't think that should be an issue out of the box because as you can see with my X macro here, it's not really too much of an issue to rack this gun either. As you can see, now we have a run on the chamber. Both those guns are clear, should be good to go. So mag issues, uh, uh, tightness issues are pretty much fixed on this gun. The gun just needed to be broken in a lot more. And reliability was has never been an issue with this gun. This gun has just worked right out of the box. It's shot right out of the box without any malfunction. So that is absolutely phenomenal in my opinion. And uh, I'm really happy with the performance of this gun so far in terms of its reliability. Now, one of my uh, very critical points uh, in the last video, not necessarily of the gun, but just necessary, or, but more so how I interface with the weapon was my uh, issues with accuracy. So as I stated in the last video, I was over gripping on the weapon. I need to have my grip a bit more like this. Uh, and I was also out of time with the gun. So I was anticipating the recoil and jerking the gun off to the left prior to actually breaking the shot. That was something else that I noticed uh, during my first shooting session with this gun that I was talking about. So when I went to the range yesterday, that for me, those two things for me were pretty much all I was focusing on during this session. Uh, accuracy and precision with the target. So I was doing a mix of slow fires, slow fire with the weapon, just trying to get accurate shot placement, uh, doing some drills, doing some build drills trying to like get some good uh, accuracy with bull drills and then doing a couple mag dumps and uh, maintaining maintaining accuracy and, and good grip on the weapon and not anticipating the recoil, not jerking the gun to the left before the shot actually breaks and just allowing the gun to do its natural thing and uh, essentially just get into time with the weapon, get into time synchronization with the weapon. A lot of guns will behave differently. A lot of guns have very uh, different recoil impulses that are kind of individual to that model. And the 6R P365 AXG Legion is no different. This gun is not going to recoil the same way as a Glock 19. It's not gonna recoil the exact same way as this X Macro. And it's definitely not gonna recoil the same way as something like a Desert Eagle or a Staccato, right? All of those guns have very, very different uh, recoil impulses and amounts of muzzle flip and when you pick up a new platform or a new variant of a platform for the first time and you shoot it that is something that you have to take into account if you are trying to uh, you know take stock of your performance so with this gun it took me over a thousand rounds to like get down that recoil impulse and and learn to manage uh, both the muzzle flip, the recoil, and manage it in a way that I can still get accurate shots in the A zone, in the center of the target where I'm aiming at. So I feel like yesterday when I was shooting, I was decently successful at uh, getting the shots where my point of aim was. And I'm happy to say that I trust this gun a lot more than I initially did a couple days ago. Um, with that being said, Overall, it is a little bit annoying to, you know, shake this gun around and hear that rattling sound. But at the end of the day, like I said, it's not really affecting reliability. In fact, it's probably enhancing the reliability of it more because I can now do this without much of an issue. And as you can see, there is a round in this chamber. This gun is now live. So we're once again going to make that clear. 
That was a very far ejection. So this gun is now clear, it's safe to handle again. But even though it kind of sucks that this uh, slide is rattly and I can hear it, it's actually probably a good thing because it means that this gun is broken in. And uh, yeah, I can trust this gun a lot more now. I can trust this gun way more now. I definitely am looking forward to be able to carrying this. And yeah, let me know your guys' thoughts down in the comments below. Uh, if you didn't like my previous video and what I said about this gun in the previous video, let me know your thoughts on this one now that I have shot this gun way more. And if you carry this gun or if you use this gun, if you have it, if you shot it, let me know your experiences with it. And I'm looking forward to talking to you guys down in the comments below. Let's have a good discussion. Later guys, take care, follow the law, and stay safe.